Any distributed application is going to need to deal with errors from time to time. Sometimes the error handling is just a crash, but sometimes you can be a little bit smarter about it. Let's mash on that. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Polly. Uh, now you might notice that I am all alone today. The other two monsters are busily working on a secret project that I'm hoping that they will come back and talk about probably in next week's episode. It's a pretty interesting project uh, and definitely one that's gonna result in some cool white papers. But for now, it looks like I'm the only one here. So I thought that I would take you through uh, some work on transient error handling. Uh, so sometimes you have something in your application when if it fails, that's it, your application is done. Uh, and it's best to just quit or abort that task. So examples of this might be something like divide by zero. It doesn't matter how many times you try to divide by zero, you're always gonna end up crashing the application. Uh, but other times you end up with problems that are transient, that'll go away if you just wait a little while or if you try again later. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at how to handle one of those. Now I'm really surprised that we haven't talked about poly before this, but I went back to our archives and I searched through it and I couldn't find any reference to poly. So hopefully I didn't miss it and we haven't talked about it before, but I'm going to get you started on poly here. Uh, so what got me thinking about this was I was doing a webinar uh, last week and five minutes before the webinar started, I went to check one of the APIs that I was using as an example in the webinar and it was down. Uh, so this was kind of a big problem for me because within a few minutes I needed to present using this API. Uh, now fortunately for me, by the time I got to that part of my demo, the API had been restored and everything went well and everybody was happy. Uh, but if that hadn't happened or if that had happened in production, then I would have had a little bit of a bigger problem. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at how we can retry that error uh, using Poly. So what I have right here is a pretty simple little console application here. Uh, so this is just going to start up. It's going to write out Hello World. It's going to new up an HTTP client. Uh, now, I know you shouldn't just new up an HTTP client like this, but for demo purposes, we'll do this. We really should be using something like a, an HTTP client factory. Uh, but we're going to start with just HTTP client here. Uh, we're going to go off to this API, which is the NHTSA, National Highway Transportation Safety Administration in the US. And this, is, this happens to be the API that I was trying the other day that failed. Uh, so this is doing VIN number decoding. If you give it a, a VIN number here and ask for it in JSON format, it'll return that information for you. Uh, and then we're just going to print that out to the console. So let's give that a try right now. So this should hopefully just work. So we'll kick that off here, prints off hello world, goes off to the API, returns a whole blob of JSON that we don't really care too much about, and the application is done. Uh, so that worked great, and we can deploy that to production, confident that this is always going to work, unless the API is down. So let's go and simulate the API being down. I'm just gonna throw up the Windows firewall in the way here, so I have put a, a firewall rule in here to block talking to that website. Uh, so let's go and give that a shot again here and see what happens. So we're going to kick that off and almost immediately we run to this exception here. So this is an HTTP request exception uh, and basically we couldn't talk to the socket because it's been firewalled. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to retry this a couple of times. Now if you wanted to take a kind of naive approach the easiest solution would be to just put a for loop around this and that's fine for really simple error handling scenarios, but there is actually a really handy library called Poly, which allows you to build out more complicated scenarios. So we're just gonna look at the pretty simple scenario today, and then in future episodes, we'll build on those and we'll come up with a, a cooler, more dynamic way of building this. So I'm gonna start by uh, adding the Poly NuGet package here. So manage NuGet packages, and I actually have already added it here to save a few seconds. So it's just called Poly. And here we go. So we've added that package and Poly is built around this idea of policies, which is basically a set of rules that talks about what to do when there is a problem, when there is an exception. 
Uh, so we're going to build up a really simple policy here, which is just going to go and retry. So anytime it runs into an exception, and we can probably narrow this down a little bit and do an HTTP re, what was it? request exception. I think it was a request exception. We'll check that in a second. If it doesn't catch, we'll know why. Uh, so this is the first stage is you build up this policy, which describes what to do when an error occurs. And the next thing we want to do is we want to apply this policy to a block of code. So fortunately, that's pretty easy to do too. We're just going to use a Lambda for that. So wait, uh, and then policy.execute async. And we'll just give that a closure like this. I'll throw the other end of that down here. Uh, and of course, this needs to be async in here too. Um, we're already awaiting this. I'm just missing a semicolon at the end here. Okay, so this has established a policy. So what this is going to do is it's just going to go and retry this piece of code up to three times. And then if it continues to fail all those times, it's just going to give up and throw the exception for something higher in the stack to handle it. But let's put a breakpoint on here real quick and go and debug this. All right, so now we get the moment of truth as to whether I set the right exception. So we'll just step over this. And we can see that it went over it a couple of times there, but we never got to the next line. So the exception is being thrown and it's being caught by this poly policy here, and it is retried. Uh, so we've been through this a couple of times now. It's failed a couple of times. I'm going to go take the firewall down, uh, just disable that firewall rule, and this should now flow through to completion. So in fact, now it looks like it's working nicely. We got a status code 200. We're gonna print out the console, the text that we got, and everything worked perfectly. Uh, so that is a really simple retry policy. Uh, we're gonna explore some more complicated policies later on so we can do cool things like exponential back off. Uh, we can print log messages every time we retry. We can change the functionality of our inner closure. Uh, every time we retry, there's all sorts of interesting things we can do, and we're going to play with a lot of those. Uh, and then episodes and episodes into the future, we're going to take a look at another really cool tool from the poly people, uh, which allows us to kind of do the same sort of chaos monkey testing that Netflix or LinkedIn or somebody like that would do, but just on a smaller scale inside of our own application. All right, great. Well, Thanks everybody for joining me, the lone monster today for this episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. Remember to like, comment, and share, and uh, I guess maybe tell your friends because I don't seem to have any today. Bye.